Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition. Ooh, is this a 50s color combo to the nth degree, 1956 Ford Club Sedan. Give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about our latest acquisition, a 1956 Ford Club, as they make sure to tell you on the door, Club Sedan, in case you forgot what it was, they make sure in those days to tell you what it was. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video from start to finish, because not only will we have a cold start, you'll hear how this engine runs, purrs like a kitten, and you'll get a walk around that gives you a lot more details of the car itself. So you can watch it all or not. If not, you can also click on the link in our description and it'll take you right to this car and all the information and pictures and everything right there. And the last thing you can do, of course, is go to our website at www.ellingsunmotorcars.com where you will find all of our current inventory, which is close to 100 vehicles right now, ranging from cars from the 1920s all the way up into the 1970s and beyond. So today this we've got the 1956 Ford Fairlane Club Sedan, absolutely 50s colors personified. Meadow mist green and colonial white. I mean, look at that color combination. They even have the matching rims with the full hubcaps to go with it so it matches the car. Now this car that has absolutely been restored to a really high level, this beautiful paint, all the chrome is very, very nice. I mean, probably better than it came in 1956 from Ford. I would have to say that without a doubt. To me, I just love the hood ornaments on these cars out of the 50s and Ford is no exception. They always look like some kind of a rocket ship or some kind of an airplane or something. And as a kid, it was one of my favorite things to look out the hood on these old cars and pretend you're flying or going down the freeway or whatever. Well, mostly not freeways when I was a kid, but you know, the two lane express lanes, if you will. Uh, 1956, they still had the 292 V8 Ford in it. Good engine way all the way around. Thunderbird, as again, you'll notice the Thunderbird V8 emblem right there on the front. So you know that it wasn't a six cylinder, but she was a, a car to be reckoned with. The other thing about this car that someone did when they ordered it, they ordered some of the nice extra options that we get with our daily cars that we don't even think of in the 50s. It's got power steering and power brakes both of which were really, really a, kind of a rare option. It was, you know, it didn't cost a lot of money, but a lot of people didn't have those. And they are so nice on these collector cars. You go to the local car show, you go to the mall or wherever you're at, it's nice to have power steering to get you into those tight spots and it's just easier to maneuver around as well. Now, the other thing that you will also notice on this car, it does have incredibly good tires with the wide whites, which would be correct for 1956, and they are radial tires. Radial tires, of course, one of the biggest improvements in automotive industry and for drivability of cars. The handling is improved much better than those old bias tires that we used to put up with when we were, when we were younger in the days when we had these cars, when they were just uh, used cars. Beautiful chrome, like I said, all the way around on this car. Let's take a look at the inside as well. Now it has, in these days, everything was an option. I mean, if you wanted power steering, power, but you had, they didn't have these quote unquote packages like you get on new cars today. You had to check off the list and go, I want power steering, I want power, I want dual outside mirrors. I want the, you know, the certain kind of interior. Now this particular car has a beautiful interior. The two-tone green matches the outside very, very nicely with the green carpet as well. I like the fact that they really haven't messed around with the interior with the dash. It still has the original instrumentation, all that stuff. Only thing they have improved upon, I would have to say, is they have an AM, FM cassette radio in it. So you can listen to all your favorite 50s tunes or whatever you're inclined to listen to. It's right there in the dash. Uh, again, it's one of these cars you can just, you know, jump in because it's an automatic. You can just put it in gear. Anyone can drive it with those features. Just another one of those upgrades that someone had to check off on their list in 1956. 
Now you can find all of our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. You know, give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate that very much. You'll find all the information on this car, on all our cars in current inventory, and some of the cars we've had in the past. So it is really a, uh, you know, an option for you to do if you're kind of cruising around the internet. So 1955, it's the club sedan. It's not the hardtop version. You do have a window pillar right here. Did you notice uh, in the pictures that you will see that it has tinted green, tinted glass all the way around? I mean, that's probably a nice thing if you're in a warmer climate because it'll keep the car a little cooler on the inside and whatnot. The other thing, take a look at the back of this car. It has the up, a dealer installed Continental kit, which is really a nice upgrade on one of these cars. And it gives it that more sporty look like a lot of the Thunderbirds had in 1956. Uh, also has dual exhaust. There you go. I mean, a little more performance orientated, has a really, really nice sound to this car. But yeah, 1956 was one of those big change over years from 55 and 56 was actually Ford's first year to have 12 volt ignition which to me, I'll be honest as much as I can, I love the older Fords, but boy, 12 volt starting is just a lot more pleasant for me for whatever reason. It just is that way. No, it is one of those cars if you're looking for your first collector car and you just want something to, that you can jump in, turn the key and drive, boy, would this be a nice car for something out of the 50s with the options that it currently has. Now, if you're like me, I would have to come down and take a look at it in person. I'm just one of those guys, a hands-on kind of guy. I guess, you know, come on down to Ellingson's. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4 as well. So if you want to come in, touch it, make sure, feel it, and take a closer look, we'd love to have you come down in person. But yeah, it's just one of those cars that someone came out of a very large Ford collector, nice big collection, very well done car to a nice high degree. I mean, I tell you what, it's... Uh, to restore one of these from start to finish like this, uh, this is a very good value for the first guy trying to get one of your uh, collector cars right here at Ellingson. So we appreciate you coming by, taking a look at this video and all our other videos at Ellingson Motor Cars. And we thank you again, and we will see you next time in the future.